Hi everyone, it's Bacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. Today, just received a new gear. I'm going to be unboxing and giving a quick feedback on Arturia's Minilab Universal MIDI controller. Now you might ask, why would I need a MIDI controller if I have multiple uh, keyboards here and synthesizers that I could use? Well, it's a fantastic deal because a lot of times you just want to plug in to your uh, computer or your laptop and do certain melodies and things and music creation that you don't want to or turn on your big keyboard. Plus, this thing here, I normally, as you know, read up a lot of reviews and watch other YouTube reviews about a product before I purchase. And you're probably wondering, why am I doing a review? Well, just in case you wanted to get my feedback on the product. It sounds a really, really great MIDI controller keyboard. It's, it's really great. It, um, from even the picture, I haven't opened it up and it looks fantastic already. The other great thing that comes with this MIDI controller is Analog Lab, which has just under 6,000 synthesizer sounds. Um, that is a lot of sounds to play around with. That's not counting all the variations you can do in your, uh, in your synthesizer using, using the rotary knobs um, and so on to adjust all of the oscillators and, and so on. That's another video that I might do later on. But um, now let's get on enough of this chitter chatting and can't wait to open it up. Okay, let's have a look what's inside the box. Receipts, the, um, the USB cable, and it is the standard USB cable, so it's um, that's that's really good. It does have some instructions, I guess, how to download the software um, and register it, and so on. So, we'll have a look at them later on as well. Wow. That is really a nice looking one. Um, it's got wooden end. I think they're plastic, but it's got a wood design. It's white and they are mini keys. So they're not the full size keys. They, uh, I feel not that they're supposed to be um, velocity sensitive. So they're not, they're not bad. There's not many clicking and thing noise. So it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. So the other most important and interesting um, feature on this keyboard, which I haven't seen on uh, MIDI controllers of this size and this price, um, are the, it is no encoders. They actually keep on turning. So that means it really easily adaptable from moving from one synth module to the next and so on. So we'll discuss that later on. But they do feel nice. It's got, they are plastic and it does feel nice. There's no wobbly bits in there. So it's not wobbling as much. And they're nice size to be able to grab and turn them. And they feel nice as well. So very sort of smooth, a um, little bit of resistance, like oil resistance in there. That you can feel and that's the uh, template that comes with I guess to adjust you know the cutoff uh, like filters um, oscillators and parameters and envelopes and so on so you can actually see what you're doing and otherwise you have 16 knobs with uh, four sets of four and then you have the pads pads they're rubber I think they're rubber. Yep, they are rubber and they just feel nice. Just putting it down. Yeah. They do have a nice feel to them, so it's not not, not bad. Um, so and of course the strip of mod of pitch bend as well as modulation. So you don't have that wheel, you just touch it with your finger and it's done. At the back 
there's nothing there other than a lock bit here and on the other side you have the uh, USB connection and one other option which is not found again uh, MIDI controllers of this price is sustain pedal so if you're using synthesizers or um, electric pianos and things and you want some uh, sustain in them just plug it in there it's really great it's very light um, most of the product is plastic I don't think I see any metal bits in there but um, having that sort of woody look looks really nice I think as a synthesizer module um, as you're doing sounds creating sounds it uh, it does look really nice well I hope it also performs nice as well so yeah um, I think I'm, I'm uh, to the feel of it to the product quality of the feel it does feel really nice uh, I hope it will serve its purpose really well because basically when I'm doing some recordings and I need to add a couple strings in uh, or want to add some drum or percussion uh, samples in there I can use the drum bits and the other great thing is that if I'm doing mixing then I could use these rotary knobs to adjust my faders and because they are uh, not absolute they're relative that means it doesn't matter which track I assign it to or which project I load as soon as I start turning it up the fader go up from the, its current position or turning anti-clockwise you'll bring the fader down so it regardless of what it was before you know it's similar to the fact that um, if you had faders which are motorized so as like like my personas um, fader port this fader actually moves up and down as I change um, tracks it automatically moves up and down to its current level which is our, on the screen because it's got a motor in it that runs it but um, if you don't have that as a, a controller here if they're not motorized it can really affect your fader levels once to change from one project to the next I hope that makes sense yeah it's a bit hard sometimes to explain but having uh, infinity turning knobs um, is really great to have that means you don't have to worry about where it was before and you can just keep adjusting it well I hope this was helpful for you um, it was very quick I was very excited to open it up so it was a very quick feedback and review of the uh, Arturia uh, mini lab universal MIDI controller next I'm gonna head out to uh, the website download the uh, analog lab and play around with the software and I might do another video another quick review video of all the sounds that comes with it fantastic until next time as always thanks for watching cheerio